Okay, today is going to be the second part in my video series on simple editor tricks. This time we're going to be doing a really easy way to implement customized groups using Bohemia's built-in groups functionality player menu. It allows you to create your own squad, you can name your own squad, whatever you want. You can join other people's squads, make your squad private, and it makes just a lot easier for group management in a mission. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, start out on the main menu. You, we're doing vanilla again. You can use this with mods, but it should it will work with anything. First, we want to go. If you're doing uh, since you're doing groups, it needs to be multiplayer. We're not going to be using the single player editor. We need to be using the multiplayer editor. So we're going to go multiplayer, <coughs> new. Okay, just launch up your multiplayer editor. You're going to select whatever map you want, and we're just going to go a new 3D editor. Wait for it to load. <clears throat> just going to do our basic plop down guy. It's a playable unit by default. I'm going to save it and say, we'll call this uh, groups tut groups tutorial. And that's literally all we need to do for the editor. Everything else is just kind of fluff at this point. Save. Now we're going to Alt-Tab out. We're going to go to our Documents. Arma 3, Other Profiles. Find your profile name. Multiplayer Missions. And you're going to find the mission we just created, which is Groups Tut right here. And you'll enter a folder that has just one uh, object in it. It should be a mission SQM file. Mission SQM. So we're going to go to our main menu. We go Notepad. <coughs> I'm just going to open up the default Notepad, and we're going to type in Hemp. And then you need to go Save As. Drop the Save As type to All Files and go, make sure that we're in the folder. We go init player local sqf. It's important that you have the sqf on the end there, otherwise this won't work, it won't save as the right file type. Save that, see it popped up here, and it is an sqf file type. We're then going to go save as again, same thing. We're just gonna call it init server up again. Oh, I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? Oh yeah, forgot the SQF. There we go. Now I can delete this garbage one. Okay, so now we have mission, init server, init player local. So in init server, which is what I have open right now, we're going to type in open brace, open quote, init a fucking forgot how to spell init initialize close brace space call b i s f n c u i dynamic groups dynamic groups yeah okay I did spell it right and that's literally all you need in that file what this does is init server file gets called when the server starts and calls the dynamic groups function to start when your mission starts. However, we need a different one for the uh, each player, so to uh, handle join-in-progress players or individual players who are joining the mission, or who started in the mission, rather. So we're going to do the same thing. So it's going to be init alize, initialize player, comma, player, Uh, call bis fnc function dynamic groups and just save that. So initialize player using the player object that is passed to this file when init player local is called. This fires on every computer that is or every client that's connected to the server 
by the on the player object, which is the player that's joining, and it initializes call function uh, Bohemia Interactive Studios function dynamic groups. And you're just going to close that. That's literally all you need to do. So now we're going to just play scenario in multiplayer. <laughs> It load. There you go. It's all set up. Uh, right now you can only see me because I'm just doing this myself, but normally you will see here there'll be groups. You can go to the players tab. You just want to look at players and everything you need to do. All the whole thing. That's all you need to do. Real simple. Hope you found this useful uh, or informative. And hopefully it'll also make you make better missions, which is the whole goal of this series. The next video I'm going to do is probably going to be on a Zeus mission, how to set it up properly, because there's a lot of tutorials out there that tell you to do it the wrong way, the, where respawns don't work. And I know a lot of people have run into, have been asking me to make a video like that. So that'll probably be my next video, and it'll probably be out in a few days, hopefully, assuming nothing goes wrong or I don't run into any problems. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you. Okay, there's one last thing I forgot to mention when I was going over the footage. I was making sure that the video looked okay. I totally forgot to tell you how to access the group inventory. It's default bounded to the U key, but you can rebind it, or it might be rebinded depending on how your key layout is, but the default is U, and that'll be the open and close for when you're using the uh, interface for groups.